Hey guys, it's Hunter here. Welcome back to my channel for another video. I'm super excited for today's video. Um, because it's gonna be super, super fun. Also, excuse my hair, and it looks like I got hit by a bus. Um, yeah, that's because I've been sleeping all day, basically. And also, I wanted to show you my super cool dress that I'm wearing. Like, it's so freaking legit. It's a Ouija board dress. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to show you. Okay, so look 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 at how cool that is i was definitely hoping it was going to be school appropriate but you know like what is in this stuff but i love it it's so cool i'm definitely gonna wear it like on halloween or like something like that i don't know but i'm definitely gonna wear it so today i'm gonna be doing a spirit halloween store haul and kind of like what i use to do my special effects so i'm just going to show you some super cool stuff that i got from the spirit halloween store and also like the main tools that i use to do my special effects makeup looks i am going to be filming for you guys a special effects makeup look a few of them actually so just stay tuned bear with me it just takes me a while to like film them so yeah but they're coming i promise um oh okay <laughs> my boobage <laughs> i'm sorry okay so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button. There'll be a button floating around right here, so go ahead and click on that. And also don't forget to go add me on Snapchat. I'll leave my information right here as well. Um, I wanna do a Snapchat Q&A, Q <laughs> a Snapchat Q&A in the future, so definitely add me on there and stay tuned if you want your questions to get answered. Again, leave your video requests in the comments down below and let's get on into the video. I'm back I had to go eat dinner so now let's get not in to what I got and I'm out of breath but not in shape so yeah okay okay so the first thing that we got I'm super excited about like we're putting this outside our house and I just think it's so cool I'm obsessed with these things it's called ghost whirl emotion and it's one of those LED uh, projection things and we got the ghost one so it, like projects like looks like ghosts are flying like around your house like can you, can you guys see that and I think it's so cool. So we're going to put this out actually tonight after I film this video. I wanted to keep it to show you guys um, how cool it was. But um, yeah, I love this. Like, this is sweet. They had these. We had one for Christmas. And when I saw, when I saw that the, they had these for Halloween, I was like, yep, we're getting that right away. Okay. Where's my other stuff? Okay, I'm going to have to find that. But I'm going to show you next. Okay, so the next thing I got is I got this Spirit Gum Adhesive and Remover. Looks like this. So I'm just going to use this for, again, my SFX, my special effects makeup because this is a way to, like, glue down your, like, or your, like, prosthetics or anything like that. So I just decided I wanted to pick this up just to have some on handy. I haven't actually used this yet, but you never know. And I just whacked myself in the face with it. Okay, the next thing I got is this Grey Corpse Makeup, and it has a cotton ball stuck to it, but I just got this because I have no paints, so basically I'm just using the eyeshadows that I have. I'm hoping that I'm going to be getting some paint because I really need a skin color base, so that's why I've been waiting to do the tutorials for you guys because I really want to have like the best stuff that I can have, but I just wanted to get this in case I do like a decaying... Um, kind of tutorial I thought this would be a nice color to have so I just picked that up as well okay then I picked up this kit and I've already broken into this because I've been practicing but it's the makeup appliance applicator set which had basically everything that I've wanted like it gives you basically every single tool that you need it comes with two of these sponges I actually use those it comes with this spatula thing that I've been using to like scoop out the latex because I hate touching it. It stinks. I don't like it. And then it came with this little puffy puffer pad. I don't know. It's cute. And then it came with this uh, brush. So I honestly, and this is like really affordable. How much was this? It was $7.99. Like it was eight bucks for all of that. Like that's a great deal. And I really like it. And it also came with. Um, these two sponges which is the main thing I, reason I got it because I really like these for like if you dip into blood and you just splatter it around it gives you like the perfect messy effect like the not perfect splattering of blood so it looks more realistic and so I really wanted these and I'm really happy that I got those okay so that is everything oh and then I also I don't have them with me but 
I also got a Ouija board chapstick and Ouija board earrings because I'm planning on making this into an outfit. Um, if you haven't told, told, if you can't tell, I like Ouija boards. So, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to show you some things I already had that I use for special effects makeup. First of all, just basically simple cotton balls. You can get these anywhere for like a buck, like a big pack, and I just use them, like I rip them apart and stick them on my face for doing different sorts of things like burns and things like that. They come really in handy to have with you. Next, I have just this bottle of liquid glycerin. And I got this idea idea from Glam and Gore, which you guys probably know her, but I get a lot of my inspiration from her. And she said to use this like to do the burns, like you are you drip it down their face, and it looks super cool. And I was hoping to try that out on my dad. So I might be doing something with this if I get around to it. But yeah, it's just something that I have. And of course I have my liquid latex. I bought this last year. And it's lasted me so to this year. It is getting this like weirdish yellow color on top. So I just kind of like, yeah, you can see that. So I just kind of dig down to here. Let me tell you, this stuff stinks. It's disgusting. Do not recommend putting this too close to your nostrils because it stinks. I don't like it. Okay, next thing I use is this Graftopian blood gel. I absolutely love blood. Like I have to have it in every form and shape and bottle. I love this for doing like open wounds. Um, there's a tutorial coming. I've been practicing it and I use this and it looks so realistic. So definitely you need to have some blood. I also have this Graftopian blood paste. And so this is gonna give you the effect of the more like chunky blood. Like it's gonna have clots in it and things like that. Absolutely love this. As you can see, I'm getting blood all over my hands because I made a heck of a mess with this the other day. But I really, really love that. And then I also have just this vampire blood. I believe I got this at Walmart last year. Um, and I was using it to splatter some Halloween party invitations. But it's always nice to have this just as an easy, quick blood that you can drip or do anything. And it's super cheap. You can get it for like a buck at Walmart. And then next I just have like a few brushes that I mainly use. I've basically taken taken my makeup brushes and converted them into um, special effects ones. So I just use them to paint on color, paint on the blood. I also use like a butter knife. So, you know, just so you know. And then next I have this Mehron, Mehron, Sin Wax. Um, I decided to get this last year because I watched Kate Nicole. If you have seen, if you haven't seen her 30 Days of Halloween series, you should definitely check it out. It's amazing. But she uses this, and I use this a lot to mold and shape my cuts. You'll see me using this in the next tutorial, you'll see. So I've been, like, digging into that. This will definitely last me, like, for probably the rest of my life. Um, probably shouldn't have gotten this big of one, but I did. And it'll last me for a while, so at least I won't be repurchasing it anytime soon. And then the main palette i use been using... Sorry! I just got a text. But um, this is a palette that I use that really helps me get like the colors that I want for my, um, since I, I use the eyeshadows to compromise for not having the paints. And this is just the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. Not sure which one this is in. But I really like it because it has some good skin colors. I use this black a lot to do the deep wounds and then it's got like some gray tones. And so I just use this palette a lot and it's got the whites and stuff so um, this palette is a good option for you if you don't have the paints like I do or I'm trying to get them okay I have three more items I need to find the last items that I got are right here you okay you want to know what's super annoying is my mom feels the need to take my stuff and move it and it really really ticks me off because she's OCD and I'm not so my room's a disaster she comes in and she tries to freaking clean it and moves my stuff and then I can't find it and it really is annoying like like this video if you feel my problems okay but the last three things that I just recently got off of Ben Nye I believe they're all from Ben Nye I don't think I got them from Ben Nye's website though but something okay so this is the Ben Nye Zombie Rot Tooth Color, and I've really wanted to have 
to have one of these. Um, there's like the black one that can make it look like your tooth's missing. But I thought this one would be super cool if I did like a zombie look. So you just paint it on your tooth and it basically looks like your tooth is decaying. And I think that is absolutely awesome. So I had to paint this up. Okay, the next thing I got is this Ben Knight Fresh Scab Blood. And now this, this guy's, this guy's is your, okay, I can't figure out my hand. This is your chunky blood. Like this is gonna give you that that chunkage, okay? And a lot of people have to wear chunky. I actually find chunky to be my favorite word. Um, but, oh, it's just so, so beautiful. I'm so excited to use this. Like you have no idea, so love that and then the last thing that i got is the ben Nye dark blood and it's aged and oxidized so this is for if you want to have like blood that looks like it's been sitting kind of drying on your skin um it's just super dark liquidy blood and i had to have it i just love it um so yes so yeah, that is the end of my Spirit Halloween haul slash what I use for my special effects makeup. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I always have it linked all down below. And yeah, happy freaking October, guys. I'm so excited. Like, so excited. So I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.